What's up, everybody? Today we're going to look at how to do a shin flip, a very basic shin flip uh, that is pretty easy to do, but uh, can it's highly overlooked and can go wrong if you don't do it right, um, especially like when you're doing shin on shin, things like this. Um, it's very important to practice uh, the shin flip, and then it translates to when you have tight hooks or not tight hooks. Okay, So what we're going to look is, is we're going to be here, and you see a lot of people do this where they kind of drill, but the person has two feet to the inside. Okay. And uh, sometimes they just like, kind of do this and they kick, kick out and they kick out. But it's not really real because he's not putting tension on his legs. And the way to check this is to make sure he hooks it correctly. Like he actually tenses up his legs and hooks. So like if I just went out, he would not be able to work. Like I, I would not be able to do it. So what I'm looking to do here is to make sure we're in good position. I'm going to push his knee externally. Okay. And I'm going to rotate my knee internally. I'm going to put pressure of my own shin into him and my own knee okay? and now i'm going to kick my own butt and then weave and then push my knee to the inside okay it's, it's not good to just do it to do here you want to walk in so that way you have the two legs in if you need to okay so when you're here it should be a push a pressure in kick and inside this is much different from if he hooks and i just like kind of like leave my leg out try to do something or like it's not it's not real so the person has to tense up and the main thing is to always push the leg externally, put pressure inside with your own shin, kick your own butt, and then you're going to go inside position. This will, this will allow you to get into headquarters and positions like this, okay? Obviously, I want to have my feet in between his and not have his in between mine, so it's just good for you to practice. Simple drill you can do is very easy. It's just pushing down, okay, kicking my own butt. Walking in, kicking my own butt, walking in, and then he rehooks, and I go inside. Okay, one, inside, he's putting pressure, so he's actually hooking. You can see that when he kicks my leg, it's hooking. I put pressure in, down, inside. He weaves in, one, boom. See right there? Not the right tension. Inside. Okay, so it's very important to make sure you know how to do a shin flip, uh, shin flip properly. Okay, one inside okay turn inside and then you can walk your way into your passing once you do this drill you can start do chaining it into your attacks right so it could be a push of the internal external rotation of the knee pressure in shin flip headquarters okay can be where push in shin flip hand on the hip head low inside okay so just off this little shin flip uh drill should be able to practice the tension you need to do the shin flip, but also once you get a little bit better, you can progress from that drill to actual passing, and uh, it'll translate very well, um, especially like uh, if the person's up and they're doing like, um, you see like if I want to do shin on shin, if he just lifts up his foot and he just like tries to like weave it, it'll be easy. He actually needs to push down the knee and then weave it through, and he can step into the inside. Okay, so it's the same difference if I'm on top or on down, just as an example to so see that you need the hooks a little tight. But being able to co correctly do a shin flip is very beneficial for you, especially if you're a beginner and you need to learn how to like, somebody puts their hooks inside and you, they're very sticky. Being able to shut that down it should be like a, a very like basic fundamental thing you should know. So I uh, hope it helps. Okay, if you guys like it, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, give me a like on Instagram and I'm going to, start uh dropping a little bit more videos here and there so i appreciate your time i'll see you guys soon